Puddles has received a massive overhaul and the fact that they look more like puddles and behave more like puddles. So real quickly, I'll demonstrate how blood looks. So just give a few little stabs and move them out of the way. As you can see, blood starts pooling and then it starts spreading more naturally. It's not just like sprites relayered. And you can even see the way it starts spreading makes uh, people bleeding out look a lot more grisly. That's for sure. And to compensate for this, uh, mopping is now different. You don't just suck up blood. It will say the mop has no water. And then you dip your mop in it. And then you basically turn the blood into water. And then you have to actually wring out your bucket. Which, with the helpful UI at the bottom, you can tell exactly how the mopping's going. And to show a more extreme example, let's spill a lot of water. And you can see how the spread works. Pistol crate was added to the game. It can be ordered through cargo. And like the other weapon crates, it still requires armory access. It comes with four magazines and two pistols. So three magazines per gun. This is a cheaper lethal option. So security might want to opt for this in order to give out more... Not as dangerous to lose firearms to security, but still a nice addition, and now security can order more weapons for more variety. Nothing to really show for this one, but also relating to cargo. Uh, you can't be sold into slavery by accident anymore when you're on the ship, so now it's just like before, where if you're on the ship and you're living, it just won't let you basically go to the trading outpost. Broken bottles and glass shards can now be used to butcher clothes, and... The benefit of this is, is that bleeding is a little bit more relevant than it used to be. So there might be times where you actually have to rip up your jumpsuit in order to make some gauze to stop your bleeding. You can no longer suicide from a pet ghost roll. So like if you get Ian and you type in suicide, uh, you're no longer just sabotaging Ian, you just ghost out of it. The material reclaimer was added to the game. So now you can recycle things like survival boxes or empty cans to get materials. And this is really useful because it's just a way to get rid of basically useless items like empty boxes and turn them into things like cardboard or whatever their respective material is. Diana can now breathe carbon dioxide alongside oxygen, so if there's ever anything like a carbon dioxide leak, you don't really have to worry about it. And as you can see, there's carbon dioxide in the air, and there's no indication I'm taking damage, and I will even show you real quick that you don't get poisoned. So that is... One actual small boon for the Diana race species. The detective has been given their own access on the station, so now if you run into an airlock, which obviously you won't see the debug name like airlock detective, that means the detective office is now locked to detectives, and your normal security officer can't just wander in and take try to take your gun from you, or just take your clothes, or whatever, just mess with the detective. Your office is now a little bit more private. The head of security has been granted their own pet. Their name is Shiva. They are the first defender of the station. Uh, they are interesting in the fact that they actually are the first defender of the station. They attack mobs like rats and other tarantulas. They have they have quite a lot of health. It takes 90 damage to crit them, so they're basically as strong as a normal... Uh, or they're basically as tanky as a normal uh, humanoid character, aka the player characters. And they do uh, 8 piercing and 8 poison to hit. And to segue into this... Rat servants have been nerfed, and if I show you, you spawn a rat servant next to Shiva. Shiva will go after him, and in one bite, will down a rat servant after the rat servant nerf. So, Shiva might be your uh, best friend during a rat invasion. Security has gone access to the hollow barrier projector, and what it is, is that it's a holographic projector that says stop on it, and you can't run over it. And you can't, for some reason, click and drag yourself onto it, but if you right-click it and vault it, you'll climb on top of it. And uh, alt-clicking alt -clicking also doesn't work, so the only way right now is to have to right-click and vault it, which could slow down criminals and be a benefit to security. So use this to keep people out of a crime scene or just to slow the flow of traffic, basically. The ability to splash reagents on someone, either by throwing it at them, slipping on it, or hitting them with it directly was added to the game. While this is only part one of it and doesn't have much practical use yet, there is one usage where if you hit a slime with a beaker of water, it should splash water on them, but it seems to be not working quite right. However, if you throw it at them, 
they'll say you'll see the red pop up where it says the solution spilled onto them. And if you even slip on it, you'll even see the chemicals in the puddle get on your skin. But I'm not a slime, so it doesn't have any effect. However, as you can see, they took some heat damage, which slimes react badly to water. And last but not least that I'll cover, the ability to press escape to leave any menu has been added. So if I open up the chemical dispenser, press escape, it closes. If I open my backpack like so and press escape, it closes. As always, I don't cover every single thing in the changelog. I just cover the bigger things that I think are more significant or just more or just more player focused to be more specific. However, I encourage you to thank all of our contributors and maintainers and read through the changelog to keep yourself informed. The new puddles and stuff is a great addition. Also, there is basically prerequisite systems for newer things like the reagent splashing. Also, just cool sprites and stuff I didn't cover. Some smaller additions like the uh, perma vending machine for perma prisoners to eat. And yeah, just a lot of really cool stuff.